today we are going to learn on how to add an SSL certificate to your VPS using CyberPanel. So we are going to install Let's Encrypt SSL certificate in CyberPanel. Let's Encrypt is a free SSL certificate. So you are able to install the free SSL certificate in your, uh, in your domains using CyberPanel. So we start by logging in to the VPS. So input the credentials. then click sign in so once you sign in this is the home page that you're going to see and uh, you you need to come to websites so on the home page under available functions click on websites just a few seconds so that now once you log in you you, you want to see the available or the to list the websites so go to under available functions that is under website functions click on list website then you will uh, under list websites you are able to see the, uh, the the number of websites that you have added to your vps so for me i have already added uh, a domain here ashford.xyz i have a subdomain i also have the host name so we want to see how now we can add SSL, the free SSL certificate or uh, simply let's encrypt SSL certificate to the domain, the subdomain and the host name. So we will start with the domain. So this is our domain name and this is our subdomain and this is the host name. So to start with the domain name, for you to be able to add the SSL certificate or to issue the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, come here and click Issue SSL. Good. So we have issued the SSL, the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, but now we still need to add the... Uh, there's a code that we need to add to the file manager. So we need to go to the file manager under the htaccess.htaccess file we need to add some code so we click on file manager good so we go to the public html so double click so that it opens so that you can get to the dot ht access file so uh, this one uh, you, you you will need to you you, you will you will need to lo to, to load the HT access so you need to view you need to view the dot ht access file so load the under systems go to systems so we need to create the dot ht access file it's not available so we need to create it so click create there we are so click uh, right click and then choose edit and then we need to come and add the code here so let's go to our guide under truehost.com.com uh, slash support we have a guide that we have prepared on how you can add the same so just go to the guide take this you take this code copy the code the way it is this is the code that you need to add to the dot ht access file under the public html folder so we come back here and add the code there, there we go click on save changes So the file has been successfully saved. So we have been able to add the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate to our domain. So if you are to load that domain, the domain will be having the SSL certificate, the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. So that is how to add an SSL certificate to, or the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate to a domain. So 
the other one we need to to add the SSL certificate to the subdomain and uh, how to issue an SSL certificate for subdomains sometimes called the child domains so these these ones sometimes are referred to as the child domains in cyber panel so for you to be able to issue the SSL certificate for a child domain uh, you need to go back to to the to, to home go to the cyber panel so that you are able to access the subdomains so you can go to the dashboard so that now you are able to, you are able to go to the list of the websites so under websites I click on websites under the available functions so click on list websites and then come to your subdomain so this is our subdomain or simply the child domain so click on issue SSL good so as you can see the SSL is successfully issued but there's, remember there is a code that we still need to add to the .ht access file under public HTML folder so we go back to get our code this is our code still again under our support truehost.com support we have prepared a guide so just take this code this is the one that we need to add so as to force the dot to force https redirection so go back to vps and then go to the file manager under the subdomain click on file manager so double click here under public public html again as you can see the dot ht access file does not exist so we need to create it so click uh, just go up there and under new file click on new file so that you're able to add the file so type just type dot ht access then click on create file There you are then right click so as to open see the auto so as to see the, the options then you click edit and then you just paste uh, just paste there you are just paste the code there and then click on save changes you so saw the file has been successfully saved so we have successfully been able to add let's encrypt ssl certificate to our subdomain or the child domain using cyber panel so we can cancel this so that is how to add a necessary certificate that is the let's encrypt ssl certificate to your domain and or subdomain as you can see the process is more or less uh, more or less the same assuming that you have been able to you have already created the the, the website and the subdomain so the other the other thing is to how to add the ssl certificate or let's encrypt ssl certificate to your host host name simply how to issue an ssl certificate to the host name so the host name here refers to the name of your server which is normally used to access the server instead of the ip address simply because it is sometimes difficult to remember or maybe to keep in mind the ip address the digits themselves as you can see here it's very hard to keep remembering these digits so simply uh, th th that's why now we come uh, we come up with uh, the host name so the host names are better because you can install a necessary certificate to them easily instead of ip address so to install SSL, the let's encrypt SSL certificate to your VIP, uh, to your host name. Just go back to Cyber Panel. You can click Home. I've just clicked here. This is your host. so as to be taken to your dashboard. I'll allow a few a few seconds. Then you can decide to go to. Or to, to, to the websites or simply you can come here to SSL you can click on SSL and then you want to hostname SSL 
you want to add the SSL, so the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate to your host name. So just click there. So we want to issue SSL certificate for our host name. So this is the page that will be displayed and under this one you select the website. In this case our host name is host.ashford.xyz. So select that and then click on issue SSL. So the SSL is issued. So to add a redirection to the host the host name that is host.ashford.xyz in this case go to the file manager so that we want now to force the redirection to https so then under public html double click as you can see we do not have the .ht access file so we need to add it so go to new file so that you can create the dot, dot .ht access and then click on create file so it is created so go pick we come here and pick our our code that is at trulos.com slash support uh, then knowledge base how to install let's encrypt ssl in cyber panel so we go back and then click right click on this file and then select edit and then add the code just click here and then add the code and then you save changes so give it some time yeah it is already added so we have now managed to add of the free ssl or let's encrypt ssl certificate to our domain our subdomain or child domain and the host name so if you check online you see that our domain will be secure if you were to go online just type ashford we can take this domain ashford.xyz should be secured so you can see the ssl certificate has been installed as per this padlock indicated here so you can do the same for the subdomain and the host name so basically that is how to install the let's encrypt ssl certificate using uh, in your vps using cyber panel so cyber panel or your vps comes with a free ssl certificate so you can always install it anytime so that is all for today thank you for listening be on the lookout for other guides on how to do various activities in the VPS using Cyberpanel. Thank you.